How's it going, everyone? Scott McKay here, Airbrush Down Dirty Tricks. Gonna solve another cricket issue problem we've been having, and I think it's since their update. So I'll show you a quick workaround. I'm gonna do it with the scales. There was also an issue with the biomechanical with this new update, and I've gone through and recreated it. So I'm gonna be re uploading a new download to McKay Fine Art for all you guys. Uh, that'll be by the time you're listening to this, this will be already up. But it's gonna be just less confusing if I show you with this. I'm gonna upload my fish scale set here and add to canvas. Okay, so we have this and it's obviously black. It's not black, but it decides to fill in with black anyway. So I'm just gonna change it to red so it's easier to see. Um, and what I gotta do is select all. I've had this in my other videos, you gotta ungroup it. And then you gotta select all the these basic ones here and you're gonna send them the back. Okay, now you can see everything. Okay, um, and then what I do is I usually go back and regroup, draw a box around each one of these, and group them again. Okay, uh, that way you don't like accidentally move a piece you don't want to move and put things out of line. Okay, so I do this. Okay. And you're good to go. Usually I'll go up and I'll save it at this point to make sure. But now you can move this whole one as a group and this whole one as a group. Okay. Uh, another way to view it so you see everything there is when you select stuff, if you go down to guide, you'll see everything no matter what it looked like. Um, we'll go back up into basic cut, which see, basic cut, it just did it again. It did that. So it changes it to black. I don't know why it decides to. But the problem we've been having with this new when you go to make it I'm gonna go here I'm gonna go to make it and it jumbles everything around what it's trying to do it's trying to be smart but it's really being stupid because it's trying to cut as much vinyl as little vinyl as possible but it doesn't take the design into consideration at all it just keeps trying to cut everything um, so what you really got to do is um, for one if it's bigger than your cut area it, it usually fails um, decide which one you're gonna cut okay in this case I'm just gonna cut one of this I'm just gonna cut the the big one I'm gonna select both these and delete it I'm gonna go here and watch it's still gonna try to do it because it's too big see how it still moves everything around which is really stupid no other software does this other than Cricut, which makes me nuts. Because I have to spend hours figuring this out to help everyone. What you have to do is you have to select everything here and go all the way back here and hit attach. And now when you attach it, it decides, oh, I'm not going to move anything now, which is dumb. Um, so now when I select it, because it's attached, now it keeps it in shape. And now it'll cut on your large map. And that is what you have to do to keep a file on Cricut that's made up of lots of designs. Like, for instance, this one. When I go here, I'm going to add this. This was doing the same thing. And let's see if it does it. See, it moves everything. Dumb. I'm going to delete this. move it over and I'm going to hit attach now watch when I hit attach it's too large because it's too big now I'm going to just I have to select all ungroup now I can select just the skull and group it and now just this side and group it they make it very confusing. Now what do you have to do? Select the skull, hit attach. Select this whole side, hit attach. Now when you go in, it keeps everything in one spot. But the key is you have to make sure it's smaller than your mat and you have to go through and make sure you ungroup this large image and then group these together individually and then after you're done individually, make sure they attach. Once you've done this once, then you go to your save and save as. You'll never have to do it again. You can do it every time after that. 
Uh, it was a lot of figuring out to get to work this way. Uh, the original file downloads will be fine if you do the ungroup and detach. What I'm going to be doing right now is I'm uploading a new version, a new SVG. Uh, it's going to be in a new Cricut folder. And once I upload it to McKay Fine Art, you guys will be able to re-download it. Um, and then just do your normal, uh, you know, from here, you're going to go and do your upload, upload image, browse, go to your file, go to your Cricut version, and it's going to be right here. I'm also adding one that's got the reference image attached to it. That way you can do a print and a cut, but you gotta mess around with that as well, and then the image by itself. This is the one you want. Cricut Biomech Adjustment 2023. SVG, import that, follow everything, you'll be all good to go. It'll go in, it'll be normal, and I made some adjustments here so it doesn't get blown apart. I hope this helps. Uh, thank you for a few you guys bring it to my attention. Um, months ago, everyone was working fine. I think Cricket decided to make some adjustments, and now everyone uh, has to deal with this. So hopefully this fixes it for everyone. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for Airbrush Down Dirty Tricks. More stuff, more live feeds. Make sure you subscribe. And now we have a new membership area. Join, and you'll be up to date uh, directly with me and a lot of uh, special stuff we'll be doing. Have a good one, guys. Talk to you very soon.